Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on what time you're watching this webinar, you're welcome. I want to specially welcome you to this free training on snail farming. Thank you so much for making our time to be here. And I promise you this is going to be one of the best 60 minutes you've spent online this year. But let me quickly introduce myself for those who did not listen to the audios that I've sent or maybe you didn't see the write-ups that I dropped on the group. My name is Mary Banibor Finama. I'm from Biosa State. Here is a quick uh, breakdown about me. I'm the founder of Mectes Enterprise. I'm a wife and I'm a mother of two lovely daughters. I own a Facebook page and a YouTube channel which are named Mectes Snow Farm because they are dedicated solely for my snail farm produce, right? I deal majorly on sales of snails, both in bags and pieces. I sell formulated feeds, my own formulated feeds. I sell calcium. I'm also into setting up of a free range system, which we call the greenhouse system for both my students and all others that contact me for the job, right? And I do it all across Nigeria. Now, I have trained well over 380 persons in snail farming just in 2023 alone. I am so passionate about this topic because I have personally been involved in this for years. Right, you're going to hear a little more about me. Please endeavor to listen to the voice notes that I dropped on the um, WhatsApp group as well. It will help you get to know more about me and my journey so far. All right, let's just move forward. Now... In this uh, webinar, this free training that is just well over 40 minutes, now you're going to learn some few things about snow farming, like the wealth that can be unnest from snow farming, the A to Z of snow farming. Okay, when I say the A to Z of snow farming, I mean what are uh, what is snow farming? What are the species of snails that you can farm? How can you make money from snow farming? How can you extract uh, snow slime? Now, what is the value of snails, both in the local market and in the international market? All those are things that you'll be learning from this free training. So I need you to sit back, relax. I told you from the beginning that you should come with your pen and paper so that you can jot down whatever questions that might arise as we go on the course of this training. Now, remember, it being a free training means um, there are a lot. There is only to an extent that you can learn in a free training. You all know that getting a getting holistic training would take time okay you cannot learn snow farming in just 60 minutes okay so but i would deliver the best i can i will give you a lot of value to the best of my ability in this free training so please be more attentive be focused and pay more attention okay so what else are you going to be learning before the end of this free training now you're going to learn about the requirements that you need as a snow farmer, okay, for you to go into snow farming, what are those requirements? Now, setting up a snow farm on a budget, you'll learn about how you can set up a snow farm on a budget. And also other ways that you can make money from snow business, okay? It's not just by farming snails. There are other ways that you can make money from snow business. Now, why should you listen to me? You should listen to me not just because I, I am training people, but because I have, I have a personal experience on snow farming. I've actively been into it for about five years now, okay? I went into it while I was still doing another job. But then I saw that this is a business that can fetch me all the income that I need. So what's the point of just juggling between the two? That does not mean that you cannot juggle between the two because snow farming gives you a lot of time. Like you attend to snows just once in a day and that's in the evening. So you can do whatever you want to do. I only decided I want to do it full time because I love the business. All right. Now, as of this moment, I currently sell between 3,500 to 4,500 pieces of snails per month. I also help my mentees to sell off their mature snails, both in the local market and the international market. Okay. Now, selling abroad uh, during export programs, that enables them to start earning in dollars as well. Now, that's one of the good things about enrolling in my own platform because i don't just train you and leave you to go i train you and i make sure you succeed in the business and not just that you also have where to sell your snails all right now 
there are some things there are some things that make people don't want to go into snail farming or some things that that makes people not succeed in snail farming i have seen people who go to youtube uh, watch a, a bunch of videos and decide to start their snow farm they still come back to people who are fully into it to ask questions why now it is not as if it is a bad thing for you to uh, watch videos on youtube it is not at all but you know what that does to you it makes you confused at the end of the day because when you watch random videos from different people you end up having different ideas, different opinions about a particular subject. So you are torn in between different options. You don't even know what exactly to do. One person will tell you, this is how you do it. Uh, A will tell you this one. B will tell you that one. C will tell you another one. D will tell you another one. So when you watch too many videos about a particular subject and you don't have one person like a mentor that would hold you and pull you through, you tend to get confused at the end of the day. So you do so many things and end up losing either your uh, your snails or just end up wasting your time and energy so one of the reasons why people find it difficult to get into snail farming or to succeed in snail farming is lack of adequate training and knowledge of the farming uh, business now lacking knowledge does not necessarily mean that you have not seen some videos or you've not heard some things about snail farming when we say knowledge we're talking about holistic knowledge like you have not you have not been trained, you have not been tutored, okay? You have not been mentored, that's what I mean. Like when you're mentored by someone who has passion for not just the business itself, but for seeing people grow, you will never fail with that, all right? Unlike when you just go through different piece meals from one uh, area or the other, you might not get the holistic view of the subject matter. So that's one of the reasons why people fail or people find it difficult to start snail farming. Now, there is another thing, difficulty in getting buyers. Like I said before, that is one of my uh, standing, well, that is one of the points that makes me stand out. Because let's say you start uh, your snail farming now. You have successfully started, you have start, your snails have started breeding more snails. Now you have hundreds of snails or thousands of snails. Now the next problem is where do I sell the snails? How do I sell the snails off? Most trainers don't, don't they, all they do is train you, all right? And which is not bad because that is what you came to them for, to be trained. But getting where to sell your snails is another major um, aspect of snail farming that so many persons are not talking about. If you go on YouTube right now, you will see a whole lot of videos talking about how to feed snails, how to take care of snails, how to do this. But where to sell snails, people are not talking about it that much. All right? People are not talking about it that much. So it makes people find it difficult to get into snail farming because... Even after breeding their snails, they don't know where to sell it. Now, these are some of the reasons why you need to listen to me because I do training and I also help you sell your snails. All right. Now, another thing is lack of finance to start up a snail farm. Yes. Now, like any average business you can go into in Nigeria, it requires some few thousands of naira. All right. It requires it. Some, let's talk about, um, starting up a little business by your by your house maybe even if you're not going out to get a shop you would uh, put up a little structure by your house and then um you buy maybe a fridge a generator depend because of the epileptic power supply we have in nigeria you know all of that costs a lot of money but in snail farming with the minimum even 30k you can start your snail farm that if you're diligent just give yourself two to three years. You will start making millions from that money. It might sound far-fetched, right? It might sound like it is too good to be true. But in snail farming, all you need is diligence. All you need is patience. But with that small amount that you're starting with, you'll be surprised the millions that you start making in a few years. I'm not saying few months. I'm not saying two months or three months. I'm saying in a few years, okay? Because I'm not here to give you... Um, sweet sweet talks no i'm here to tell you the real deal all right now lack of finance is one of the reasons why people find it difficult to go into snail farming what are the other things that can make people find it difficult to get into snail farming is lack of patience i just talked about it now lack of patience if you don't have patience you cannot go into snail farming you cannot go into snail farming if you don't have patience you need to be patient because why? Why do I talk about patience? Patience because snails are very slow-growing animals. 
You cannot go into a snail farming last month and start making money from snail farming this month or even next month or even in the uh, next three months. It's not possible because snails take a pace to grow. All right. So if you're the type that wants overnight returns on your investment, this is not the kind of training for you. This is not the kind of business that you need to get into. As so, so long as snail farming is concerned, for you to grow your snails to maturity, it requires time. Okay? Meaning you need to be patient with the snails for it to get to that time. Now, I'm talking about maturity. In every organism, we have what we call the physiological maturity and the sexual maturity. Now, a sexually mature organism means that that organism is capable of reproducing its kind. But that organism might not necessarily be uh, physically big. Okay? Now, in snails, they are... Their sexual maturity age starts from the age of six months to nine months. Meaning, a snail that is six months can actually start producing for you. But that snail is not big. Okay, it's not physically big. Now, a physiologically mature snail starts from 12 months down to 18 months and above. Okay, so it means that a six-month-old snail or a nine-month-old snail can start laying eggs for you but that snail might not necessarily be looking big. Okay, we call those ones point of lay. Those snails that have attained uh, sexual maturity, we call, them, we call them point of lay or breeders. Meaning they can start laying eggs for you, but they are not physically big. Okay, so that's that about uh, the physiological and the sexual maturity of snails. Now, let's talk about what is snail farming. Remember, this is a free training. This is a free class. So please make sure you grab every information that you can gather from this. Okay. Now, what is snail farming? Snail farming is professionally called elisiculture. Okay. It is professionally called elisiculture. Now, forget about the plenty big English that I'm saying. Now, what is this elisiculture? It is just the process of rearing and breeding of snails for commercial purposes. It means it involves the cultivation and management of snails in a controlled environment. When snails are growing in the forest by themselves, fending for themselves, that is not elisiculture. Okay? It is when you bring snails into a controlled environment that you have provided shelter for them by, by, by yourself. That is what is elisiculture. That's what's called elisiculture. Meaning you are the one responsible for their well-being their overall well-being watering them feeding them you are the one responsible now um the snail management and uh, uh taking care of snails in a controlled environment such as uh snow farms uh, we call snow houses snow pen so whenever you hear me call a pen when it comes to the subject of snow farming you know that i'm talking about a snail house okay now, you go into snow farming with the aim of producing snails for various purposes. Snails are not just used for eating, okay? They are used, yes, for producing food, but they are also used for cosmetic purposes, and they are used for pharmaceutical purposes as well. Now, you see all those very expensive creams that people use? You, you Sometimes you even see on the labels of the creams, uh, snails being drawn on the labels of the uh, creams, such some creams that uh, helps to reduce the appearance of stretch marks, acne, a lot of things are made from snails. Now, a person who gets involved in this process, this elisiculture process, is called a snail farmer. Most of you, including myself, before I got into the business, I used to call snail farmers those who go into the bush and pick snails to come and sell. Those are the ones I used to call snail farmers. But that's not true. A snail farmer is one who is involved in captured snowry, like you are into snail farming you're not just going to the bush to pick it up mm -mm. you are the one who is training snails in a controlled environment so you all that are here listening to this uh, or watching this webinar right now the moment you start your own snail farm you are called a snail farmer all right let's move on now we have two types of snow farming one is the intensive system of farming the other is a semi-intensive system of farming i'm just going to make it as simple as possible intensive system means you can do it indoors okay you can do it in your veranda 
or your balcony as you may call it you can do it at the back of your house uh just attached to your wall right you can just do some snail pens attached to your wall you can even do it in a spare room in your house you can do it inside a tire in your house okay so that is basically the indoor uh process or the indoor system of farming which is called the intensive system now with this project this uh process you can do it with as low as 30,000 50,000 100,000 200,000 now this process involves the use of basins you can use drums you can use buckets you can use tires okay you can also use arch boxes we'll talk all about that while we go forward all right now the semi-intensive system is just the opposite of the intensive system it is the outdoor system of snow farming now this process uh, is the rearing of snows for commercial purpose on a big scale okay on a big scale you can with that one you can start with even 200k you can start with 500 you can even start with 10 million Okay, so that one is on a big scale and majority of the people who go into uh, semi-intensive snow farming goes for the free range or the one we call the greenhouse system or you can use even some of the the intensive system of farming in the semi-intensive like one one of them is the concrete pen now concrete pens you can just build instead of building two three which is for the intensive system you can build hundreds if you're going into the semi-intensive system okay so that's that for the number of snow farming systems that we have there are just two the intensive and the semi-intensive now basic requirements for snow farming i will repeat this again proper training of the snow farming process you need to be properly trained snow farming is a business okay you need to see farming as a business it's not just something you do to feed your stomach no it is a business and you don't, good thing is you don't need uh, machineries, all these mechanized uh, uh, machines for you to go into snow farming. But that does not mean it is not a business. It is a huge business. And you don't just go into a business that you don't know anything about just blindly. No, no, no. It is better you go in with someone who has gone through that process before. What do we call it in Nigeria? Follow Uno Road. <laughs> yes, when you follow such person, it is very difficult for you to miss your way or for you to get it wrong. Because what happens is when you follow somebody that has already gone through that process, what happens is that you learn not by making your own mistakes. Okay, you learn because that person has already made those mistakes in the past. All right, that's one good thing about getting properly trained. And that's one requirement you need. I see a lot of people coming to my DM asking me, uh, please, I want to buy snails. And the first thing I ask is, have you gotten trained? You want to buy snails to start your own snail farm, right? Have you gotten trained? And some of them will tell me, no, I, I watch a lot, some videos on YouTube. That is not enough. It is not enough. Because no YouTube video will give you all the trainings that you need. Now, the reason why I go as far as asking people who buy snails from me those questions is because because you're buying snails from me, if anything should go wrong, you would want to contact me. You understand? Maybe your snail starts dying. You would want to contact me. Ah, ma, Madam Mary, I bought the so-so snails from you. Now, so-so number has died. Oh, what is happening? You might think that it is because uh, the snails are sick or something. But not knowing that there is something you're not doing right. So I try to save myself the stress of getting all those calls and messages from you later by properly training you in the first place before you even start okay so proper training is the first thing you need is the first thing you need before you even start snow farming all right so that you avoid a lot of mistakes that would have occurred if you didn't get trained second thing is appropriate housing system for your snails now this is what happens when you get trained properly okay you know how to put up your housing system which are the pens that we talked about another thing is a suitable soil for your snail. not every soil can be used for snow farming some people have asked me can't i do snow farming without soil no sir no ma you cannot go into snow farming without a soil that's like telling me you want to go into cassava planting without soil it's not possible the soil is where your snails can uh, breed their eggs and for those eggs to hatch and become more snails Okay, snails can survive without soil, yes, but they cannot reproduce without the soil. 
that's just the simple truth about it all right and not just that you also need to sterilize such soils you're not just using the soil after knowing the basic soil to use you also sterilize the soil that's treating of the soil you also need to know one of the basic requirements you need as a snail farmer you also need to know the kind of food that they need to eat to both grow and to lay more eggs for you snails are vegetarians okay so one thing they cannot do without is vegetables and fruits now another basic thing that they need for their shells to grow strong and for them to lay more eggs for you is what we call calcium some people call it calcium some call it calcium they are all the same they are all correct okay now calcium helps your snails to uh, for their for their shells to grow strong and for their shells to expand now if their shells don't expand the snail meat inside cannot grow as well okay so calcium helps with that now another basic requirement again is patience you know i have been repeating this thing patience commitment determination and the desire to make it work you don't just start yesterday and expect to start making money today it doesn't work that way okay this is a lifetime investment snow farming is making hundreds of millionaires in africa every year and you can be one of them all you need is patience I'm repeating in the and emphasizing on this patience because I discover that majority of people, especially the young ones in this part of the world, we we want fast money. Yes, maybe because of the economy, we want fast money. But yet, please, sometimes I I prefer we should look into a sustainable wealth than the ones that will come fast and go fast. Now, snow farming is something you can pass down to your children as an inheritance. Believe me. Because one snail can live up to 12 years. One snail can live up to 12 years. And as a snail farmer, the only time you buy snails is the first time you're starting. Now, the moment you buy, those snails will start, keep reproducing for you for years to come. You don't need to buy again. That's one, one of the good things about snail farming as well. So these are some of the basic requirements you will need as a snail farmer. All right. Now, let's talk a little about the facts of snow farming that you might not know yet okay snow farming is very pro very very now I'm, I'm emphasizing on the very because it is very very <laughs> it's very 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 profitable and that's because there is high demand for it okay when you're doing a business that people are demanding for or people are uh, people are asking to buy for you know that you will definitely make profit in such business now you're not only selling snails in Nigeria you can export to other countries like France, Italy, Spain, Portugal, and the rest of you. Okay, so snail farming is a very, very profitable business. Now, another fact you need to know about snail farming is that for you to export your snails out of Nigeria to these countries that I just mentioned, you don't need some of the certificates that people need for them to go into exports. Okay, like the NEPC, okay, or the SUN, or even NAVDAC number. You don't need to register with NAVDAC before you can export out of the country if you're into snail farming. That's one basic fact you need to know. Another fact is that you don't need much capital to start. Unlike other business or other livestock that you need, uh, you need hundreds of thousands before you can start. Uh, and then not just that, you need to be feeding your livestock morning, afternoon and evening. No, you feed your snails just once in a day and that's in the evening, preferably by 6.30 to 7 p.m. You see the reason why some somebody can be involved in any other business or any job and still be involved in snail farming perfectly and nothing will happen to your snails. Because you can go to your job, close by four, come to your house. You even rest very well before you go to your snail farm to feed your snails. And it doesn't take long, depending on the size of your farm. You can feed them in less than 30 minutes, you're done. And you're on your way. You don't need to be there for them to be eating. They actually eat at night. So even when your feet dropping their feet by that 6 30 they will not come out by that 6 30. they come out when everywhere is dark to come and eat okay so you don't need much capital to go into snail farming another thing is you can do snail farming as a part-time business that is how i started like i told you i was into another job that's how i started and you can decide to continue like that till maybe you retire from whatever, whatever you're doing or even if you don't retire you just continue like that imagine a business where you just need to attend to that uh that business just once in a day you feed them by 6 30 in the evening and probably in the morning you just go and remove whatever leftover that is 
in the pen. That is it. 30 minutes a day, 45 minutes a day, you are done. And like I said, that depends on the size of your farm. If you have a larger farm, like those who are going into semi-intensive system, they would have to uh, employ the services of what we call a farm attendant or a farm manager if your farm is very big. All right? Okay, moving on. I hope you're all getting value for this free training. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, so we're going to talk a little about the species of snails that we have around this uh, vicinity, the ones that we actually farm on, and the number of eggs that they lay. These are things, some of the things that you learn as, um, as a beginner. You need to know what type of snail is this, how many eggs that can this snail give to me, and how, um, how many eggs that can this other one give to me. These are the kind of things you learn. Now, number one on our list is the Achatina marginata. Now, some people call it Achatina. Some call it Achatina. Again, all is correct. Okay? So, for, for, uh, for us to know more about the names, we farmers, we just call it AM. So, the moment you hear any name, anybody calling AM, the AM species, you know they are talking about the Achatina marginata. And this Achatina marginata is the one that is mostly red here in Nigeria, right? And it lays between 40 to 80 eggs. Achatina marginata even lays more, depending on the way you feed it. But this is the minimum it lays in a breeding season. Imagine one snail, one, one snail giving you 80 snails. Now, before we go on, there's one thing you need to know. That snails have a level of mortality. No matter how well you take care of your snails, some of your snails will die. That's something that I have seen so many farmers complain about. And my snails are dying. My snails, how many have died? You don't expect that no snail will die at all. Now, the benchmark, the mark that farmers have placed is about 20% mortality rate. Okay? Now, when it exceeds that 20%, if it exceeds that 20%, that's when you should be concerned. Because there is no, even people who have been into snail farming for up to 15 years will still experience minimum 20% mortality. So imagine you that did not even get trained at all. Imagine how your snails will be dying. I know most of you who are here, you have dived into it for a while and saw that it didn't work. Your snails were dying. Some of you heard about it. Some of you watched videos and just decided to go into it, but snails just kept dying. Now... It's not as if if you get trained, they will not die at all at all. But the rate will be greatly reduced. All right. So 20% mortality rate is standard for anybody, no matter how good you are in snail farming. But even with that 20% mortality, imagine your snail giving you 100 snails. One. So you lose about 20%. That means you still have 80. Do you understand? So that's the good thing about snail farming. So when you talk about rearing snails in Nigeria, your best bet is the Achatina marginata. The others that I will be talking about lay even more than the Achatina marginata. So some persons might be tempted to try others. But the Achatina marginata is the one we sell more. Okay? It's the one, it's the one that sells in Nigeria. And some other snails are even considered as pests in some countries. All right, so you cannot export some other snail, but this, you see this Achatina marginata, you can export it anywhere, and you can sell it anywhere in Nigeria. Now, the last, next one on our list, we call it the Elix Espessa. You can call it the garden snails, okay? That one lays between 350 to 400 eggs per breeding season, all right? So now, the next one is the Achatina Achatina. This one, we call it the AA. This one is mostly found in Ghana. This one is the one that most countries uh, um, see as a pest, okay? So you cannot export the AA to every country. Some countries accept it, but some don't. Now, this AA can lay from 600 to 800 eggs. It can even lay up to 1,000 eggs. That's how prolific they are in nature. Now, the last on our list here is the Achatina Folica. We call it the AF. And AFs lay between 800 to 1,200 eggs per breeding season. But the thing about the AF is that it doesn't grow too big. It doesn't grow too big. And you know for you to sell your snails at a, at a good amount, they need to be big, right? So people don't really go into the farming of AF as well. But you see the AA 
the AM, they grow very big, very, very big. But for one reason, for some reasons that I am yet to find out, the AAs don't really survive too much in Nigeria. In fact, one of my mentors even tried as much as, as far as buying some in Ghana, bringing them to Nigeria, and in less than two months, they all died. This is somebody who has been into snail farming for more than 10 years. So he knows what he's doing, but yet they all died. So for now, the basic and the only training, the only uh, snail we are training is the AM. All right. So moving on. Like I said, I hope you are getting value. We are almost about rounding up this introductory class. Okay. I promised you a free training and that's what you're getting. Believe me, there are a lot of the informations, a lot of informations you have gathered from this free training. They are not even out there in YouTube. They're not out there on YouTube. So be thankful that you are here. Be thankful that you are here. All right. Like I said, we're about rounding up this introductory class. And like, you know, this is just an introduction. There is more. All right. So let's talk about ways to which you can earn a living or earn money from snail farming. Number one, you can sell your snails at point of lease. We've talked about point of lays, right? They are not big, right? But they can start laying eggs. Now, as a snail farmer, that is the most, that's, that's the point I sell my snails more. Because majority of the people who buy snails from me are people who are about going into snail farming. Okay, so the best option is to start from snails that are ready to start laying eggs in no distant time. All right? So, these are the points, point of lays that we sell. Now, you can sell at that point as well. That's one of the ways you can earn your money from snail farming. Another one is selling raw table-sized snails to market women. table size is those big ones. Okay, we have table size, we have jumbo size, we have um, point of lays, we have breed, uh, sorry, point of lays also called the breeders. We have growers, we have hatchlings, okay? I will drop the list of... Um, the different stages of snails and how, how how old they are. I will drop it in the WhatsApp group, all right? So you can sell to market women as table sizes, right? You can also sell at different sizes, even in bags as well. Like some persons who are buying not for snow farming purpose, maybe they are buying it for consumption purpose, you can just mix them and sell as well. Some people buy in bags, okay? But as for snow farmers, most times we don't even have those plenty bags to sell. You see the reason why it is easy for me to help my my uh mentees to sell up their snails because the demands because people are i am already known in this business people contact me for uh purchase of snails so i just help my mentees to sell off with those avenues all right now another way you can sell your you can make money from snail farming is supplying to factories and food processing companies both here and outside the country and those such such contracts are in large scale it's not something that one person is uh, is able to um, cover most times. So you get from other persons as well. Now, you also sell snail slime, like the one I told you that is used for cosmetic use, for those creams and all. So you can sell your snail slime as well. Good thing about selling snail slime is that you can extract snail slime from your snails this month. Next month, you will still bring those snails out and still extract. So there are ways to extract snail slime without killing your snails. All right. Now, another way to make money from snail farming is selling of washed and dried snails, both locally and internationally. You wash your snails, you dry them, either air dry, fry dry, or whatever drying, depending on the um, specifications of your buyer. You dry it that way and you ship either abroad or sell it locally. This is another way of making money from snail farming. Now, another way you make good money from snail farming is that you don't even need to go and look for buyers yourself. There are agents that can help you sort for buyers and you sell and you pay them based on commission. Okay, you're selling this uh, this uh, kg of snail, this is what you have. You're selling this metric ton of snail, this is what you have. Like that, okay? So, this is the end of our introductory class. All right. I know I have tried. <laughs> okay. I've given you value for this free training. And believe me, even with just this and with the few that I'm going to drop in the WhatsApp group, 
believe me these are things you don't just hear everywhere all right now moving on i will not just leave you and uh eye and dry okay i won't just leave you like that so i'm introducing a mentorship program a 10 days mentorship program where i would hold you by the hand and teach you this very profitable business so that you don't just learn and go you learn and start and in no time you start making money okay now in order to introduce this 10 days um this 10 days uh mentorship program to you let me first of all tell you how you can start snail farming how do you start snail farming back again to getting properly trained okay you get properly trained now the next on the list is uh you set some money aside to start up your snail farming okay now getting properly trained is the reason why i am setting up the 10 days mentorship program i'm going to mentor you for 10 old days but you see my mentorship continues for life after getting trained by me you get mentorship for life okay for life meaning you have access to me at any time okay so now next on the list you build an appropriate housing for your snails i'm just giving them one after the other okay these are the things you need to put in place before you start snail farming all right you install sprinklers for watering of the soil now this one is basically for the greenhouse system now you get a suitable soil. We talked about the soil. You treat that soil. All right. Now you, you sterilize what we call mulching materials. Now mulching materials are dry, either dry plantain leaf or banana leaves or cocoa yam leaves. Okay. Those are the mulching materials and not just getting them. You also sterilize those mulching materials. All right. Now for greenhouse system, you cultivate vegetation like all these, uh, food crops, dwarf plantains, uh, cocoa yams. So that the greenhouse system would would feel like they are still in the forest okay that's what it makes the snails feel they are in a in a in an enclosed environment they are in a controlled environment but yet they will feel so free as if they are in the in the forest all right that's one of the reasons why we use um greenhouse system especially for large scale farming all right now for greenhouse system you install what we call feeding racks okay now, the next on our list is you buy your snails. You see, the reason why when people come to buy snails from me, the first thing I ask is, have you gotten trained? Because after getting trained, there's a whole lot of things to do before you buy your snails. Are you seeing the number to which buying of snail belongs? Number 10 on my list. So imagine you have not done any of the others. Number one down to number nine. You have not done any. You just want to buy snails. There's a whole lot of things to do before you buy snails and that. And then number 11, you purchase formulated feeds and calcium. Now, in as much as snails are vegetarians, they still need their own um, formulated feeds. You learn all about that in the mentorship program. All right. Okay, let's move on. Now, getting into my mentorship program, you get, in, you get into what I call my community of megtes millionaire farmers now like i told you only this year alone i've i've trained over 380 persons all right so in this mentorship program you get to join my community my community members who have gone through my trainings or my training programs and they continue to enjoy my support and mentorship and assistance as they begin their own journey into the snow farming okay and not just that we help each other to sell now remember when i told you about uh supplying pharmaceutical companies abroad that one person cannot um fulfill such orders now that is where the community comes into play you can team up and do group supplies you can team up with me and do group supplies Okay, that's some of the benefits of being in my community. And you can only get into this community by joining my mentorship program. Right? Now, you can also become a part of this community, like I said, by joining this mentorship program. And become a Megtes Millionaire Farmer as well. Now, let me talk a little about my community. In this community, you get to enjoy my lifetime support, like I've already told you. It's a lifetime thing. Like, I don't just train you and let you go. I train you and I stay with you. All right? Now, being in my community attracts a discount on the purchase of snails. 
like if you want to just buy snails from me there's a different price but if you're in my community there's also a different price both for the feeds the formulated uh calcium the snails and everything and even for those who i help to set up their farms but the way i train you you get you can start up your own farm by yourself you can set it up by yourself the only one that i would advise people not to start by themselves is the greenhouse system because that one is a bit technical so you get professionals to go into it and definitely you have the money to do that because for you to do that large scale definitely you have the money all right but for uh intensive system you don't need the help of anybody with my training you can do it yourself in fact if you can hold armor and nail you can do it yourself <laughs> all right now in my community i refer my mentees to buyers of their snails okay and their products because it's not just snails that you're learning to rare you're also learning how you can formulate your own calcium how you can formulate your own feet i give you all the proportions all the measurements that you need to formulate your own feet in my training all right now in our community you can team up with group members to do large scale exports like i explained to you before you can also get connected with other snail farmers Let's take, for instance, you are in Uyo. You are in Uyo. Now, another member of the community is in, um, is in Zaria. Somebody now contacts that person, maybe by virtue of um, social media. Somebody contacts that your community member in Zaria that he or she wants to buy snails. Now, some persons can just, that person can just connect you that is in Uyo to that person because the, person, the buyer is also in Uyo. Okay, instead of going through the stress, oh yeah, buy from this person that is in Uyo. Or, you want to buy snails from me, but the number of snails you need, I don't have up to that. I connect you with another person that can supply all of them. Alright, so that's, those are some of the benefits of being in my community. Now, who are the kind of people that can join my community? If you're a student, you can join my community. If you're a stay-at-home mom or dad, you can join my community. If you're a retiree, Perfect. You can join my community. Or you're a businessman or woman, like I told you before, whatever you're doing, you can inculcate snow farming into it. Okay? Into that existing business or job that you're doing. Now, or you're just somebody who is looking for a sustainable income or you're just looking to increase your income. Snow farming is for you and this community is what you need. Joining my community is the exact thing you need to succeed as a snow farmer now let's talk a little about some testimonies that some of my uh previous mentees have to say this one says madam mary is the best lecturer i have ever met if all lecturers are like her when it comes to teaching i think 90 percent of students will not involve themselves in exam malpractice you know why i teach you as though you you don't you you have not done anything before do you understand? I know some of you have a little knowledge about snow farming already, but that is that that's notwithstanding. I pour out the whole of my heart to you so that you would know that uh, at the end of the day, uh, you don't have the need to go back and start learning from another person again. Not at all. You don't have that need again. All right. After going through my mentorship program, you don't have the need to go through any other program again. After all, I will still be there for you every step of the way. Whatever questions that might come up, I am here to answer. All right? Now, this one says, good morning. I am one of your students from Edo State, Benin City. I can say that one of the good things that happened to me this year is by coming in contact with you. I have come across teachers, but you are different. You are too much. The way you explain everything to us, even a layman can understand it. You poured out every of your knowledge about snow farming to us without reserving any, not minding the little amount we paid. People like you is what we need in our schools, organizations, etc. in this Nigeria. You are the best. I give you 95%. God bless you and your also. Thank you, ma. Now, I don't just do it because people will give me accolades or people will praise me. No, I want a situation where after I train you, you will know so much that you can stand on your feet. You understand? That's the joy of every teacher. That's the joy of every mentor. Like, I mentor you, I, you go through my training, you should be able to stand on your own. All right? There are some persons who come to me and tell me, eh, I paid so-so amount. I paid just 
to to so so amount to learn last year eh uh, and eh uh, now okay i now ask you how many species of snails do you have in your pen or what size of snails are you rearing ah ma i don't know that one no so what did they now train you now if you don't even know the name of the species of snail you are rearing what did they now train you you say you went through a training you can imagine what people go through all right now for the uh for time or the lack of it i might not be able to read everything but all these are testimonials from my students from some of them who bought snails from me and some who just went through my trainings okay i'm going to take this from uh one of my students engineer labisi now engineer labisi says good afternoon everyone i want to appreciate coach mary for our relentless efforts towards us to achieve our goals in snow farming yes coach mary is a good lecturer is an understatement she is an excellent teacher she explained everything about the snow farming to us and i give her kudos secondly she is honest and trustworthy when i booked for my snails and i transferred 69000 naira to her from ibadan here without knowing each other without knowing each other and she delivered even when there was a delay due to the heavy rain as at that time she made sure at all costs i received my snails thirdly the issue of mentoring she is excellent any time i call her or chat her to ask questions she is always responding so to me i give her excellent in all aspect why will i train you you would have an issue you would ask questions and i will not answer that's no longer mentorship now do you understand my mentorship is not just for a year it's not just for a month it is for life time all right so that's some of the testimonies from some of my previous mentees now what do you need to join this training what do you need now one of the thing is that you you need to be patient you need to be patient to succeed as a snail farmer i've emphasized on it a lot you need to be patient to both learn and to implement what you have learned all right now it is not a get rich quick scheme it is not a ponzi scheme where you pay 50000 and get 100 100000 overnight no this is a business all right this is pure business that will last you for a lifetime now another thing you need is readiness to implement everything you are taught you don't just learn and go and sleep for you to succeed in anything after learning you implement what you have learned all right so those are the things you need to join my training now what are the things you'll be learning let me start breaking them down now <laughs> there's a lot you will learn believe me a lot you will learn believe me now number one on my list is how can you start snail farming on a budget that's one of the things you will learn you are the type that maybe you don't have much capital you want to start small what how would you start small that's one of the things you will learn now you will learn how to extract snail slime You know that slurry substance? Yes, you will learn how to extract it. Like I said, even without uh killing the snails. All right? Now, all my trainings are in videos, okay? There are video trainings for every aspect of the training. So there's nothing like uh my show us video. Mm -mm. Apart from the video trainings as well, I also have practical videos that I will show you. So it's not just uh theory theory theory. No, it's both theory, practical and live sessions. All right? Now you will learn how uh, learn about the recommended drinks and feeds that you need to give your snails. You will learn how to feed your snails properly and the type of food that you should give them so that they will grow fast, not just grow fast, they will start laying eggs for you and they will lay more eggs than even the recommended one. Okay? And their shells will grow strong. What type of food would you give them? You will learn all about that. Right? Now, how to start a snail farm at home or on a farm site. Maybe you have a land that you would like to start your snow farm how would you start it those are some of the things you'll be learning as well another thing breeding of snow eggs some people know how to take care of their snails but when the snails lay eggs they don't know how to take care of those eggs for them to hatch and give them more snails now if you don't know that one that means your snow farm will not grow because the only farm your, your the only way your snow farm will grow is when your snails are giving birth to more snails and those snails are surviving all right now how to hatch and incubate your eggs without any equipment you don't need any equipment with the method that i will show you 
Now, different ways to properly sterilize your soil. There are different ways. And I will tell you my, the best way that I know, like my most preferred way to sterilize your soil and your mulching materials. How to take care of your baby snails. Baby snails are quite delicate. So you need to know how you can take care of them so that they can survive well. All right. Now, where and how to obtain the right species of snails. You don't just go to the market and buy snails. You don't just buy snail from anywhere if you want to start snail farm. So where do you buy your snails? What type of snail do you buy? You will learn all of that in the training, in this mentorship program. How to identify common snail health and how to treat them. Up until this moment, nobody knows any sickness that affects snails. Like, like the way we have for humans, this is malaria, this is typhoid. There is no known sickness, but we know when snails are not feeling okay. So I will teach you how you can treat your snails because you will know when they are not feeling okay. Because I will tell you how to identify when your snails are not feeling okay. Alright? So you learn how to treat them properly. Now, you will learn how to identify the benefits of snail slime. And not just that, how to remove and extract those snail slime, not just for, uh, for your house, but for commercial purpose. Okay? Now, how to use condemned oil and water to ward off predators. There are a lot of snail animals. So the way we build the snail houses, which we call the pens, you will learn how you can use condemned oil, condemned engine oil and water so that you prevent any snail, sn snake enemy or predators, as we call them, from coming close to your snail pen. All right. Now, next on our list is how to identify common snail health. We've talked about this before. Different types of snail houses and a detailed training on how to construct them. What are the different types of snail houses we have? And how can you construct them? You will get detailed training. Like when I mean detailed training, you don't need anybody to be there with you. You will be the one giving the carpenter the specifications and how to do it after going through my training. You don't need me to be there for you to construct the snail house. All right? Now, where to obtain uh, the right species? We've talked about that as well. That is not all. There is still more. I have some juicy bonuses for you. If you join my mentorship program, number one on my list is my step-by-step -step free ebook. Now I sell this book for up to 9,000, but I will be giving you for free, right? I will give you this book for free. When you join my mentorship program, you will have access to my community. You, you remember that community I told, told you about where you have all the juicy, juicy packages, where you have all the benefits of, uh, doing group exports with me and both other mentees you would have access to that community, all right? Now, you also get a free business plan. When you join this, my training, you will get a free business plan so that you will not be lost as to where to start from. There's one thing to get trained. There's one thing to have the mind to start up, but you might still be confused as to how much you will put in. That is why I train you not just on how to start on a budget, but I give you a business plan that will guide you properly. Let's assume you have 50,000 Naira or you, let's say you have 100,000 Naira that you want to go into this business with. My business plan will help you know what amount to apportion for buying of snails, what amount to apportion for constructing your snail house, what amount to uh, portion for buying of snail feeds and all of that. That's what that business plan does for you. All right. Now you will also learn other ways to make money consistently from snail business. Like I told you before, it's not just about snail farming. You can make money from snail business, not just from the farming as well. All right. Now, opportunity for you to do group exports so that you can earn in dollars. You all know the current exchange rate of dollar to Naira. As at the time of this recording, one dollar in the black market is 950 Naira. Imagine you selling your snails in foreign currency and earning in foreign currency. One Jumbo size snail in the international market right now is three dollars. Some sell it even as high as four dollars. So imagine calculate 950 naira times three for one big snail. That's what people are selling. But here in Nigeria, we sell it for 1800 for a jumbo size snail. All right, some are selling it one three, some are selling it one five, some sell it even one eight okay so those are some of the benefits those are some of the uh bonuses that you will get now this training will be for 10 whole days 10 good days all right it will be hosted on youtube and you have a question and answer session and a group on whatsapp 
Okay, you also join my Telegram group. All right. Now, training. This training can be accessed from any part of the world, anywhere you are. So long as you have a device that is internet enabled, you can join this training. Okay. And the training is in three stages. The first phase is the learning slash training stage. Okay. Now, after that first phase, we will enter into the practical session where we will learn DIY steps on how you can get your pens ready and commence actual farming. DIY means do it yourself. All right. That's the second phase. Then the third phase is the uh, live sessions that we're going to have where you will get your um, business, your business plan, where you will learn how to do the, the farming on a budget. And then you get to ask very specific questions. I will attend to each mentee, not, not, uh, not as a group, but I will attend to you individually. All right. Now, it's going to include live sessions, like I said, personal se sessions with each mentee, my video training, an ebook, and a follow up group for farmers. That means after training, like I said, I am not leaving you, okay? I'll put you in a group so that you can learn from other people who are in the group as well. We are well over 600% there. Now, the training, this training is well over 50,000 naira. But guess what? You're not going to be paying that amount today. Even if I charge 30,000 naira for this training, trust me, it is still a very fair price, okay? And that's because the value you're getting for this training is worth it. But guess what? You won't even you won't be paying 50k. You won't even be paying the 30k. But for the first 25 persons to key into this training today, I'm giving you an opportunity to pay just 9,999 naira. Okay. Now after the first 25 persons, the price will go up back to 20,000 naira, and that's because this discount is only for a period of time. Okay, so the discount right now is 9,999 Naira. Now, if you're interested in assessing the mentorship program, okay, that will guarantee you to start snow farming on a budget, okay, and then to get a snow farmer that will guide you through every step of the way, you can go ahead and make your payment into the following account details, okay, it's um, the money point account. The amount again is 9,999 Naira. Now, when you're done, send your proof of payment to the group if you're in the group, or you can send it to our official number 080 255 39238. I'll repeat the number again 080 255 39238. Okay, if you're in the group, you just send the proof of payment to the group, but if you're not in the group, you can just send it to this number I have called and immediately your payment is confirmed. You'll be added to the 10 days intensive mentorship class. All right. All right. I'm going to drop the details. Okay. The payment details on the WhatsApp group as well. Okay. And if you're not seeing it clearly, you can ask for the details and I will forward them to you. Trust me when I say this 10 days mentorship program is all you need to succeed as a snail farmer. After this training, you will not need to go through any other training again for you to succeed as a snail farmer. Yes, this is all you need. And don't forget, even after the training, I am here for you every step of the way. Okay, so till then, take care of yourselves and see you in the mentorship class.